But if I go in on the first day of class and talk about the mission of the church and how BYU is developed as here to help further the mission of the church, and anybody who's here, one, ought to be grateful, and two, ought to remember the sacrifice of those who do so much so that they can mm. be here. And then remember, we're not here, f we're here. You'll pick up skills that'll help you in your profession. But, uh, but I'm not sure what Heavenly Father has planned for you. Mm. It may be to be a great accountant, and if that's the case, that'll be awesome. But it may be that, that your difference will be made as a city councilman mm. or as a Relief Society president. I'm not sure, but what I wanted to do and the way I oriented the first day is we're going to develop skills in you that will be useful somewhere out there. And I'm not sure where, but, but what, what we try to do in my classes is to make people better decision makers so wherever Heavenly Father puts them, they can be better decision makers. And if we can get people to, to make better decisions, wherever they are, then we're, then we're making people better. So, in accounting, we talk about how analysis leads you to the next question. Well, that skill applies in a whole lot of places. And st students may not see where it might apply. Hmm. But if I give them one example, they start to see a whole lot of possibilities. And that's my goal, is to get them to think bigger than accounting. Uh, I teach in classes where where there are students in the same class in other sections that I don't teach. So I still have to make sure that, that they get what's going to be on the test. But what I've found is there's no trade-off. If I, if I integrate the sacred and the secular, some people make the mistake of thinking, okay, that means I've got to take stuff out. Mm. I, I've never found that. My students compete just as well on the, the common exams with other sections. It's... Uh, there's no trade-off. It just, there's magic when you integrate the sacred and the secular. It helps them see bigger, but it also reinforces the secular. Now, I, I won't claim that it makes them better hmm. at accountants, but I think it makes them better people. I get emails from students after they graduate. They'll be out in their careers. They never email me to thank me about accounting. Hmm. I've never gotten one. But they will tell me the influence that I had on their lives. And that's, you know, they, they'll tell me, they'll email, thank you for the life lessons. Hmm. But they never, they never talk about accounting because in the grand scheme of things, it's not as important as the other things. It's not like, let's, let's stop for this commercial interruption and talk about the gospel. Okay, now back to our regular programming. You can't do that. Uh, it's got to be, they've got to see that what we're talking about in accounting is bigger than accounting. And uh, when people start out, they think, oh, I don't see how it is. Well, you get started. Because once, you know, faith precedes the miracle. You take a couple of steps, and you'll start to see things you didn't see before. Hmm. But you have to start. Uh, one of my favorite sayings, I have, I have probably a thousand favorite sayings, but one of my top 500, <laughs> is uh, you see what you look for. And if you look for connections, you'll see them. That's one of the beautiful things about BYU. If we make a little step, the Spirit will magnify our efforts. And so if you look for connections, you'll see them. And if you don't look, you won't. And so if you say, I don't see how it can be done, well, you're right. You won't see how it can be done. But if we just change our attitude just a little you know, can I see how it will be done? Yeah, you can. Because there, uh, there are angels waiting to help. Mm. But we got to get going. So if we, if we look, we will see. And probably the nice thing was, the day I realized, uh, I, I don't care if they like it or not. It's the right thing to do. Mm. And it was, you know, a nice side effect is my students appreciated it. But I didn't do it because they would like it. I did it because I thought it was right.